Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for coming along. So today we're going to be um, repotting, well, splitting up and repotting these two um, ponytail palms I have, and then also this little tiny one I got up at the uh, swamp meet. Anyway, so I've always been wanting these for a while, but they're really expensive. And I finally found, my, actually my mom was able to find one. They had one, they were $20 for just one of them. And then she saw that they had two in this one pot. So I said, I figured I'd go ahead and get this. And we're going to uh, split it up and see how that goes. And just a little um, about ponytail palms. They're not actually a palm. They are actually from the agave family. So they're in the agave family, Bucarinus recubata. And um, so they are actually succulents. So they have this nice big potix at the bottom, which is where they store all their water. They don't need a lot of water since they are succulents. They make good outdoor plants, they make good indoor plants, they like a lot of light, but they're very forgiving, so it's okay if you give them some damp sunlight here and there. They just seem to have, you know, I was even reading somewhere that they can literally do like half indoor, half outdoor, as long as they get some sun at some time. So definitely watch your plant, know your plant, know what it's doing, and know your environment, but they are a very forgiving plant. So I'm not sure if it comes up on the video, but this one is very green. This one, however, has a very reddish hue to it. And um, so usually a lot of times the succulents, when they're reddish, that means they're stressed. So he could be stressed or there actually is a ponytail red palm or red ponytail palm. And so the two different types. So this type is the Bucarda red Bucata, and I'll label that name down below. But then the second time, the red ponytail palm is called Bucarna butamolensis. So I'm kind of interested to see once this guy gets out and is no longer stressed out, if he stays this cool kind of red or if he goes back to this green. So we'll find that out. So right now we're just going to go ahead and split these guys up and go from there. I am um, hoping that I don't actually need to cut this at all, that the roots are just kind of hanging out together and to kind of gently detangle them as opposed to cutting, but if I do, I do have a knife and some rubbing alcohol to disinfect the knife with so we can get a clean cut because I do want to have, you know, a couple extra pulps. And we're going to be repotting it in these terracotta pots. And as always, get a little bit of screen to put at the bottom of your pot so you don't have all of your excess soil, you know, draining through. Okay, so let's go ahead and repot these guys up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull these guys apart and sorry about the noise, they're trimming trees or I don't know what they're doing, but they're having, they're doing a lot of work next door apparently. Anyway, so we're gonna pull these apart. Now that, I don't know if you can see it, are a lot of roots. So I'm gonna try to save as much of the root as possible, but since we are dividing them up, I'm sure some poor little roots are gonna get taken out in the interim. This thing's very root bound. And actually they like to be root bound, so really you want to wait to repot a pot, repot these um ponytail palms once they do get root bound. Wow, these are really root bound. I'm probably not gonna I'm not gonna reuse this dirt. I have new dirt. I usually like to save the dirt anyway and I just put it away in a container to make sure there's no like bugs and stuff in it and reuse it at a later date after it's been sitting out for a while. But So we're just gonna break all this dirt up. Try to not hit the roots, but it, like I said, it is very well rooted. Oh my goodness, this thing's crazy. Finding the areas that don't have any roots to so just try to loosen it up a little bit. It's very well rooted down and I don't think this thing's been watered in a really long time. Oh, yes, this is totally going to split up. Oh, nice. Another idea is if you can just run this underneath the water, but I don't want to get these things very wet either, but you can run them under the water and kind of loosen up the dirt that way if you're not wanting to damage any of the roots. Just trying to detangle the roots to get each guy back with his, his own roots. I don't know if you can see this, but look at that. They're just so cute. I just love this guy. He's trying to just wiggle it free a little bit. There we go. There he comes. So 
Yeah, most luckily all this guy's roots is really on one side and the other guy's roots are on the other side. So they're very actually nicely <laughs> divided. This was this was a good score. I'm super excited about this. Let me just see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you can see it. They are. They're all together, but I'm gonna try to get these the bigger roots to definitely not get broken in. These little guys unfortunately are just gonna kinda have to get broken up a little bit. So I'm just gonna some clippers and just trim the root instead of just pulling it apart. Okay, victory. So we got one and we got two. Yay, okay, happy days. So now we're gonna go ahead and, oh, this is really cool. Okay, you guys gotta see this. They are just really like cool markings on the bottom of these codex. Like look, it's like little like reddish squares. There you go, now you can see it. Yeah, that's that looks really cool. And then let me show you. So we have this little guy and his little root system. And then this guy is much bigger. And he doesn't have as quite as, you can see it right there. That's just so neat. Anyway, he's much more prolific. So I think, I think they'll still got lots of roots. And uh, maybe this is a better view of this. You see the, that just look on that codex. That is so, so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and put them in their little pots and they'll be good to go. So I'm just gonna plant the bigger one first. I have my soil that I've already prepared. It's basically um, whatever fill dirt I have, uh, potting dirt I have, and then pumice. So about 50-50 mixture. So I have pumice and fill dirt. I already have my um, I already have my screen in there, so keep the dirt from leaching out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up. I'm going to fill it up pretty full because really the whole point of the ponytail palms is you want their codex sitting above the dirt level. You want it buried to about where it was previously in its last pot. So you want that to stay you know, underneath, but you want it to be sitting above the dirt. Let's see where we need it now. So that, put in a little too much dirt. Usually it's better to fill in less and it's easier to add, but anyway. So a little bit more, um, yeah, so right about there and I want him sitting up, so okay, so now, now I know where I want him, I'm just going to go ahead and put the dirt in, move the dirt around, make sure that the codex is nice and exposed, and I'm not going to put any top dressing on here, I probably will later, I'm going to let him, um, sit in here for a little bit. I'm not gonna water him for probably a couple weeks just because I did disrupt his entire life by cutting him apart with his roots. So once his roots kind of heal and I'm ready to water him, I'll probably put a top dressing down after that just to, and also you don't want like a really thick top dressing just cause you do want that codex to kind of grow out a little bit. So I wanted to leave it room to grow. So there is the first one. That's a little, probably a little too big for him, but I want room to grow. You don't want to get them in super big pots because if they're in too big of pots, this codex is one of the things you don't want to overwater them because this does tend to rot. So you have them in too big of a pot, they tend to um, they tend to get root rot a lot easier just because you're putting more water, obviously. So I probably won't water him as much until he grows a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I'm just going to put up this last little one. Let's see what this guy is. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Just a little baby. So adorable. So I'm just going to put him slightly right about there.
thanks everyone for watching. Um, I had a lot of fun prodding these up. I've been wanting one for a while, so I'm really excited to have three. I definitely am no expert on ponytail palms because like I said, these are my first ones. So hopefully um, you guys learned something new or if you have ponytail palms, please comment below and give me some tips or areas that I have misspoke and uh, knowledge is always good. So please let me know anything that I may have missed. One thing I do recommend with any succulents is if you don't have one, get a moisture meter because I will say in general, it's really hard to know when things are actually dry. A lot of times you think the, the soil is nice and dry and then it isn't. So this is probably the best eight to $12 you will ever spend. You can get them on Amazon. I got mine on Amazon, I think around $9. I've seen them at other, you know, big box stores for around like 12, it just depends on where you're at. But definitely get it, it's really nice super helpful to know just stick it in and it'll tell you exactly how the soil is and then you know when it's best time to water so anyway thanks for watching again and uh comment below if you have any comments and uh have a great day thanks bye bye so just to kind of give you an idea about the moisture meter here it is so basically the brand this one is alto power but honestly it really doesn't matter they all basically look the same so you just stick it in to your pot and it will tell you, obviously, this is dry because it should be dry. I potted it in dry soil as opposed to, as opposed to this little arrangement I have. Um, we could just put it in here. And so he's good to go. Don't need to water him anytime soon. Plus, we're supposed to be getting rain in a couple days, so I'm going to be moving my ponytail palms inside so they don't get wet.